it was crazy to find out <laughs> that your childhood idol is your sister. You know, disbelief because these things happen in the movies. This is not real life, you know? When Jen Bricker discovered her favorite sports star was in fact her long lost sister, it was just one more remarkable event in an extraordinary life. The 27 year old acrobat, aerialist and motivational speaker was born without legs due to what she describes as a non-hereditary birth defect. Given up for adoption at birth, Jen grew up oblivious to the identity of her biological family. My parents told me from as early as I can remember that I was adopted, that my ethnicity was Romanian. From a young age, Jen excelled at sports, particularly gymnastics. My earliest memories were watching gymnastics on TV, probably six years old, maybe five or six, and I was just drawn to it. And during the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta, Jen was transfixed by Dominique Mociano, who was wowing crowds with her talent. I saw myself in her. She was small and I was small. She, she had the features like I did. I knew she was Romanian. I knew I was Romanian. She had that spunky little personality just like me. So as a child, I just related to her. And later in life, Jen made a discovery which was going to rock her world. Right before I turned 16, I asked my mom if there was anything she knew about my biological family that I didn't know. So she goes and she gets this big folder full of just papers. I just vividly remember that. And uh, she says, you know, you're never going to believe this, but your biological last name is Mochianu. And I knew exactly when she said that, it meant that my childhood idol was my sister. After finally being reunited with her long lost sisters, Jen discovered that the similarity didn't end with gymnastics. When I first met my sisters, it was surreal, but natural. We look alike, we sound alike, our mannerisms are the same. Oh my gosh, I love your house. I can give you a little tour. Yeah. When I met my younger sister, Christina especially, it was like looking in the mirror. Now Dominique, who lives with her own family in Cleveland, Ohio, plays a big part in Jen's life, and they regularly make time to catch up with one another. I think she loves the fact that I am a gymnast and an acrobat, aerialist, and that I was in the same field. It adds to the irony of this entire story that we've led these paralleled lives and it just shows how strong our DNA is, that we both, well, we all three did gymnastics, really. During her career, Jen has pushed her limits, touring as a performer and acrobat for the likes of Britney Spears. But now she's trying something new and daunting, dancing which she hopes will take her career in a new direction. Today she's rehearsing a routine with dance partner Derek. People always talk about Jen overcoming this and overcoming that and I thought, this is a true challenge. This is truly something to overcome. She's amazing. She's wonderful to work with. She's, um, you look into her eyes and it's just this bright light, bright energy. It's been quite the awesome opportunity. Despite being born with what some might see as a disability, Jen has spent her life showing that nothing is impossible with the right mindset. I don't want to use any of the cliche words like inspirational, motivational, but she is. She's crazy. I've never seen an attitude like hers on another person. She only looks at the positive. I'm just here trying to hold on and I'm trying to really use my gifts and talents to have a positive impact on others.